Let's see how we can use a fantastic range of tools that we have available to us in Caddy to take this simple plan, so something with just a solid wall there, a few doors, a few windows, a little bit of dimensioning, bit of text, bit of hatching, uh, the odd symbol there with uh, WC and uh, wash and basin. Let's see how we can take that and convert it into a finished proposal drawing. So this will be something that gives us, uh, and here we've got a, a simple view of it, we've got uh, new cavity work. So we've got brickwork, we've got block work, we've got insulation, we've got cavity, we've got plaster work too. So let's just have a, a look at that and there it is. We can see it's uh, got all of the detail on it. We've got our uh, window inserted there, we've got the closers shown, we've got the uh, dimensions, we've got uh, an opening there that's been formed, we've got an existing window that's been blocked up there, we've got another one there. So more work, this time stud work and we've got our accessible toilets and how we can get that information in. We're going to look at using the Caddy catalog for that. In fact, we're going to use a Caddy catalog. So this is a docker pane here that allows us to bring in to our drawing styles such as brickwork and literally just drag and drop and we start drawing immediately. We'll see how that works. Um, and the great thing about this, of course, is that not only do you get the, the 2D information when you draw these things, and here we have a very nicely presented plan with colours on it, with the uh, the hatching that we want and so on. But what we're actually getting when we use Caddy and the, the, the tools that we're looking at here, the build tools, the AC build tools, we're getting something that is actually a 3D model. So we're getting something that has those heights. It has all of the information on there for the, the profiles of those windows, so all the uh, glazing bars and so on. So let's take a, a quick 3D uh, wander around our drawing. So here we are, we're just spinning it around with the three, 3D orbit there. We can see that we have our, our accessible toilet in there, we've got our, our kitchen unit, we've got our desks, and we can just whiz around, we can show the client exactly what it is that they need to see to get them really excited about the drawings, the schemes, the models that you're proposing from. And don't forget, of course, that you can actually schedule straight from these models when you're creating them. So you're getting the areas, you're getting the quantities there from these objects that we're drawing. So going back to our, our plan, let's get things started and see how we can we can start converting this simple 2D plan with the tools that we have. And here, rather than just going straight to the, the build tools which we have, I'm going to be using the catalog. So the catalog, gives us all the functionality. We, in fact, there's a, a whole load of things there with uh, everything from kitchen cabinets coming down right through. We've got things like uh, lighting, you name it, it's in there. And you, there's a whole load that you can, more pallets you can bring in as well. But we've got all our wall styles, for instance. Here, I've just created a, a new pallet that brings together some of the things that I need to get me going into this drawing. So we'll zoom in, so just taking a quick look at the uh, area that we see there. So we'll say, okay, let's bring in a wall. So we'll drag and drop. So all we do is just drag and drop it straight into our drawing. We'll set our snap mode to auto snap and just lock onto the, the corner there. And of course, we can type in dimensions if we want to. We can use the arrow keys, but we can also use the polar tracking. So we can snap onto these corners and then and project ourselves across. So that will just draw that in straight away. I just press escape to finish that off. Uh, we can pick on our our wall, and then when we right click, we have amongst all the other tools, we have our AC dimension, so we can add that. So just pressing on S for style, as it says with the hotkeys at the bottom, we'll go for an alt the AC dimension style one there, we'll drop that in, and we instantly we've got our dimension wall. Go to our catalog again, we'll come down the list, and here we can use the slider bars, we'll use the scroll wheel. I've got a, a window which I'm just going to drag and drop in there, and we'll just drop it in in the center there. Press regen and you'll notice that we instantly have the whole thing fully dimensioned. So whatever we have in terms of our walls, we can literally just pick up those with the AC dimensions. And again, us dragging that, we'll, uh, we'll go for our, our style, so with the uh, alterations ones there. So that's what we have. And of course, we can add in extra walls to this as well. So here we've got the uh, dynamic toolbar, the context sensitive toolbar add the objects. So to that dimension, we're just adding that wall. And you'll see that it will automatically dimension that. And it's even picked up where we have our window in there. Uh, same thing we can do here. We can pick on the AC dimension, just add in that wall. And again, we have it. So it's very, very quick, very, very easy. And 
even moving things around. So if we decide that we don't want that window there, we can use the grips and just move it along slightly. So it all add automatically adjusts to be whatever we want it to be. We can take things like the windows that we have already drawn. So in our survey, these are all style based. So if we look down our window assembly, door window assemblies there, we have the style of that window. Click onto one here that we have for a window removed. Instantly, it's just changed to being blocked up. And we can do that with the same thing here. It doesn't matter that it's already dimensioned. It will pick up that as well. So there we have uh, two amendments there already. We need to break into this uh, into this wall. Why not use the construction lines? Because these are a fantastic way of visualizing things. We'll put a couple of uh, 225 return on there. Uh, if we're going for our, our wall here, we can just click onto the wall. We have the ability to pick up an opening. So this is from the context sensitive toolbar. We're just going to do it by indicating here. So I'm just going to say, OK, let's just snap onto, uh, onto there. Then we'll come down to here. And it's broken it at the wall for us. We can get rid of the construction lines. We don't need those anymore. But if we, we take a look at this, this is actually something that is governed by layer in terms of the properties. So if we come down and just change our layer to, say, demolition, simple as that, just to change the properties. So we now have something that is just working for us very quickly, very easily. We can add new wall types in. So going back to our catalog again, again, just simple as drag and drop, changing uh, snap mode to snap, uh, auto snap, starting our wall, dragging across using the polar tracking. We can drag and drop again. And we'll just pull in our, our wall to there. If we just put the AC dimension on here as well, so again, just going for the style, and dropping that uh, dimension in there, we'll pick up our internal door, and I can use our snap mode, I can pick a, a point equals on the, the keyboard, allows me to place that precisely snapping onto that point, 225, to the right, just drop it in there. And then we could just drag in another one, dropping it onto there, equals again, and then 225 in the other direction to the left, dropping it in there. And we have our, our doors and windows. And a regen just gives us all of the dimensions as we wish. Coming down a, a list of uh, on the catalog, we have the desk. So let's bring in just drag and drop, simple as that, just drag and drop the desk into there. Then we'll take a look at the the WC down here, and we see straight away that we've got uh, a door which doesn't quite uh, give us the, the opening that we need. So we can click on the door, we can pick on the grips, type in 100, use a down arrow, and you'll see that the dimension automatically changes. In fact, taking that dimension, we'll see that what we can do is we can just pick on the grips and just move it away slightly if that's what we need to do. Uh, we can take away the existing sanitary wear, and you'll notice that they've got opaques on them so that they sit above the, the hatching. We can go for our accessible WC now. So we'll just drag and drop that in. We'll choose an auto snap, just bring it in, and then you'll notice that we just get the ability to swing it around and place it. So it's in there in one hit rather than several. We have a, a store here. Uh, we're going to bring in, and uh, from the catalog, this time I'll go back to the uh, the base units up at the top here. So we'll come down the list. We've got a sink unit. You just drag that in. And again, we can just drag and drop it in there. Uh, we can bring in uh, maybe some other units, a uh, base unit with draw. So I'll just bring them in and just drag and drop them in. And we could bring in from the catalog again, worktops too. So if we just Go back up to the top here, so let's have a look. So we'll bring in a worktop and just drop that uh, into our into our drawing, which is going to give us our tea room. We've got the piece of text here. We can move these around with the grips, incidentally, so we can just move those around. I'm just going to turn the polar tracking off here. Uh, if you want to edit it, there we are. We can just edit that. So we, we just say there's there's our tea uh, tea room. Uh, if we have offices here so we've got the, the formatting of the text exactly as we want it so why not use that let's take that and let's just copy uh, and modify that text so this will be office one so i'll say there's office one we'll drop that into there 
uh, but having got office one, we could have loads of these things. There could be bedrooms and so on. We we can use Caddy to uh, increment that, so we can increment the, the separate parts of it, and that will give us office two. And you'll see that that's straight away into the the drawing, and we could just press on uh, with our scheme. We have things like the hatching to do now on the uh, top toolbars. You'll notice we have the the hatching, which brings it uh, in here. We have the ability to hatch inside closed spaces and so on, putting islands in. I'm going to use a closed object uh, here and just drag on this. So this is one of the gradient fills here. So just drag that onto there, just point at it, and we have that. And you'll notice that all the opaques there, even for the text, make it uh, stand out uh, as we would want it to. And we can just do the same thing here. But first, I'm going to drag in the uh, the hatching for the, uh, the tiles, then go back to the, the gradient fills, and we'll just drag that in there and drop it down. Uh, there we are. So we've got the, uh, because the, the hatching goes on the back line, it's automatically gone straight behind the hatching to leave that there, be, be behind the tiles to leave that there for us. We can then go back to our catalogue and just going back down to the, the general one that we've created here scroll down and we can say okay we want to bring in an office table here and we'll just uh, not an office table sorry we'll bring in the conference table and we can just move that around uh, to at will so looking back at our drawing we're getting uh, quite close to the, the end of this we might decide that we want to to actually look at our dimensions and have maybe a different style so we can add extra chains onto our dimensions as simply as just changing the uh, the style property for it and if we don't like the way that the uh, the style is sitting so if we've changed our minds having originally set it up with the arrows all we need to do is go to our dimensions and just change our settings here so this is the dimension style that we're using and we're going to change it from the arrows to the slashes okay to that and we'll notice that Caddy automatically updates all of those for us. And of course, that is not just the, the 2D, that is also the 3D for us. So if we look at that now as a uh, 3D plan, that's where we have our 3D model already generated. And we can see that it does have the heights. And when I put my wall in, I put it in too tall. Never mind, we have the grips on these. We can just say, okay, let's just amend the height. And it's as simple as that to create the uh, the change or to make the changes that you want. But they you have something that will just make it so easy for your client for your clients to understand the work that you're trying to carry out for them. Discover many more Caddy tutorial videos on the Caddy Software channel on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for frequent news and updates. And why not download your own evaluation copy and try out Caddy for yourself? And whilst you're evaluating, you can get free help and advice via the live support on the website or through the numbers given on screen.